Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on at DisneyPlus.com. It's Wednesday, it's time for a quick Disney Plus News Roundup. We're going to be talking about Bob Chapek moving Disney Plus originals over to the Disney Channel to save money and much more. So let's start off with that story. Um, yeah, according to the Wall Street Journal, who have been doing some digging into what was going on between Bob Iger and um, Bob Chapek, because obviously with um, Iger now in as the CEO and Chapek out, there's been a lot of kind of moving around and finding out some bits and pieces. Now apparently Bob Chapek decided to move the second season of the Mysterious Benedict Society over to the Disney Channel in order to help the books of the streaming division. So basically they were going to be moving all the marketing costs and the production costs for that series over to the Disney Channel to make it look like Disney Plus is doing better, which I mean that's just generally not too good. Also by the looks of it, um, Doogie Kamaloa MD was going to have the same situation so I'm hoping that the second season might be coming pretty soon, maybe next year. Um, yeah, so yeah, this, this is just really kind of weird. It's also kind of a bit dodgy with the books. Apparently the Disney CFO, Christina McCarthy, um, was not happy with this. And she actually ended up, according to um, the Financial Times, being the, the one that kind of led the rebellion against Chapek. And yeah, she was not happy with this kind of essentially like sort of fudging the books of moving things from one division to another to make it look better. It's definitely, it's kind of weird because when I thought of why they were moving the Mysterious Benedict Society onto the Disney Channel and on Disney Plus at the same time was that it was done to kind of help the show, to kind of maybe get more audience, you know, to make the Disney Channel a bit better and kind of sharing this content out a bit. Never thought it was just literally just a case of just trying to sort of fudge the books a bit. So yeah, so that is kind of very interesting. Um, it might also explain why We've not seen more shows move over from linear over onto um, Disney Plus because essentially doesn't want to move them into the wrong category. I mean, that's pretty kind of weird, really. Um, yeah, definitely interested to see where all this goes and where the future is. But yeah, so that that was something which is a little bit of creative accountancy, which is very interesting. Moving on from there, let's now talk about some other issues that are coming up for Disney because um, a new lawsuit was placed this week um, from a number of people in the United States, I think it's from four different plaintiffs from around the US, suing Disney over the cost of the live TV bundle because back last year YouTube TV was in a contract dispute with Disney which resulted in the um, channels being removed like ESPN, Disney Channel, etc. Now YouTube TV basically put out and said look if we don't get it back um, our subscription fee will be dropping from $65 down to about $50 if we don't have the Disney content. Well, they did the deal and within days it all went back. And so YouTube TV is like $65 and you get all the ESPN and the Disney channels. Well, these users are saying that basically Disney are kind of forcing other streaming services to have to pay more in order to have this as a bundle. I mean, this is something that's been going on in the cable industry in the United States for years. You can't just, like here in the UK, if you had Sky, you could subscribe to the sports section, or you could subscribe to the movies, or you could subscribe to the entertainment. You kind of had the choice. You didn't have to take all of them out at once, but that was the case. So there's now this lawsuit's going in, um, really kind of poking at the fact of not just Disney having um, kind of control over these prices, but also um, with Hulu Live TV, of like when they put their prices up, it affects all of them. Um, this will be interesting. It, it could, end up, I mean, it's supposed to go to trial, whether or not that ever happens. But there's just more layers on the kind of the big changes going on right now within the entertainment business, especially within the television industry of, you know, these bundles and stuff. And, you know, they, Disney going to probably have to lean more in on ESPN Plus in the future as a streaming platform than kind of this old way of kind of forcing people to have sports if they don't want it. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. And it's, they can't really do the same thing with Disney Plus. That's what I think they can't just chuck ESPN in there. As, as a one subscription because it would just put, put the price up. Personally, I feel like Disney's spending a lot of money. So, I mean, nearly a third of their budget is going on sports, which is their own. I think they'd be better off spending it on content because um, sports is not something I'm that interested in. So therefore, but it does bring in a big audience. So they've got to try and get this line up, but it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Moving on from there, a couple of quick little bites. Um, if you are a fan of Criminal Minds here in the UK and in Ireland, and also in Canada, it has been confirmed that the brand new Criminal Minds Evolution series is going to be coming to Disney Plus from this coming Friday with a double episode premiere. New episodes dropping every week. There will then be a mid-season break at around the 16th of December, then it will be coming back in January, running through to the finale in February. Obviously in the United States, you'll find it on Paramount+. Plus. 
Um, also, we've got the full list for Canada of what's coming in now, so check out that on the full website. A couple of highlights, we're going to be getting Amsterdam and also the new Banshees film, so that one's pretty cool. So yeah, so lots of great stuff coming in. Let's talk about what's new on Disney Plus today. Loads of new things. The big one, obviously, is the finale of Andor. Really good, really enjoyed it. Not quite as, I didn't enjoy it as much as some of the other episodes, but a fantastic series. New episodes of The Mighty Ducks, The Mysterious Benedict Society, good news for those in Canada, that's going to be coming to you guys at the beginning of next month when the finale drops. We've also got um, a new episode of The Santa Clauses. Plus, here in the UK, we got the first two episodes of American Horror Story, um, New York City. Um, host of other bits and pieces, we got um, Reasonable Doubt, we also got Grownish. Um, in the US, there was some new library content as well. Yeah, just, just loads and loads of stuff, but obviously the big one really was Andor. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so hope to all of our American viewers. Hope you have a fantastic day enjoying the turkey. If there's any news, I'll do a video. If it's very quiet, because it, it could be very quiet, um, there might not be one tomorrow. Like I said, it depends on how much news there is. But on that note, guys, thank you very much. See you guys soon. Later. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. Also, a huge thank you to all of our supporters over on Patreon and also on our YouTube channel memberships. And I'll just see you guys in another video. Later.